1952, an upstart young congressman by the name of John F. Kennedy here in Massachusetts defeated a much stronger and more popular, at least in terms of national polls, senator by the name of Henry Cabot Lodge, Jr. In beating Mr. Lodge, Kennedy established a new political dynasty and also ended another, the Republican Lodges. But not many people realize that what got President Kennedy, or the future President Kennedy, to the Senate was not just Democratic voters, but conservative Republicans. Conservatives were upset that Mr. Lodge had supported Dwight Eisenhower for the Republican nomination, actually engineering his victory that year at the Republican National Convention, because that victory put aside their conservative hero, Robert Taft of Ohio. And as punishment to Mr. Lodge for daring to go against the conservative uh, whims of the party, they voted in droves for President Kennedy in 1952 here in Massachusetts. Thereby, conservative Republicans are responsible for laying the foundation for the Kennedy dynasty because President Kennedy could not have won in 1952 without those conservatives' support.